Titian announced his presence as a master with a grand theatrical gesture. He concentrated the vast space of the Gothic Church of the Franciscans with another image of woman, woman as Madonna. The culture itself had set up the perimeters of interpretive possibility. That is a scheme that talks about love on a scale of values. Love that at its basis is mere lust. Love on that level being the love of the beast, of the animal. And that then rises through a series of progressive stages, uh, through culturally licit lust, which is of course marital love. And that eventually arrives at the highest level, which is divine love. Titian's Assumption of the Virgin is 20 feet high. In 1518, it was the largest oil painting ever produced, a painting on the scale to match the most ambitious artists in Rome. Yet Titian had never been to Rome, and he was developing the potential of what was still a new medium. Painting on this scale had previously been done in fresco, where the colors are absorbed into the plaster of the wall. But fresco in Venice was vulnerable to the damp climate. Only oils could give the brilliance and permanence that Titian needed to dominate the space. Titian continued to exploit the spaces of the frari, to dramatize them in the next painting that he executed for the church. This was the altarpiece of the Pesaro family, located on an altar to the left of the nave. It was visible to the viewer along a diagonal axis before he even reached the altar. And Titian's perspective deliberately offers an invitation to the viewer to enter the painting before arriving at the altar. The Pesaro Madonna altarpiece illustrates vividly the fusion between church and state, public and private, St. Peter and St. Francis. The virgin and child are brought together with members of a Venetian noble family. The several monuments to the Pesaro family in the church of the Frari are both private burial chapels and public statements of their prominent role in the nobility of the Republic. Jacopo Pesaro commissioned the artist to portray him giving thanks to the Virgin for his victory at the Battle of Santa Maria when the Venetians and the Pope united to defeat the Turks. Pesaro, the Venetian, was admiral of the papal fleet. The spectacle of state included processions from the Doge's palace to the most prominent churches across the water, each designed by Andrea Palladio as a classical temple transformed for Christian celebration. Palladio adopted the monumental simplicity of ancient Roman buildings to make a new kind of Christian church. and he created spaces of unprecedented clarity. A very different light actually suffuses the paintings that Tintoretto created for the presbytery of Palladio's church. It is not that clear light of a measured and harmonious universe. It is a much more turbulent light, a light that emerges from darkness. Jacopo Tintoretto created a symbolic drama with scenes from the Old and New Testaments. Across the altar, opposite the descent of manna from heaven, is his version of the Last Supper. 
Tintoretto organized the perspective so the paintings were best seen from the altar steps by worshippers taking the bread and wine of the mass. Christ is shown distributing the bread that will be his body in the mass. Up above, a great glory of angels, gossamer forms painted with broad sweeping strokes, articulates the darkness as light suffused, a holy presence. Down below, dogs play, cats, animals. The hierarchy that is implicit in Tintoretto's painting, that is the hierarchy that runs from the base level of animals, of the dogs, to the level of the angels up above, is a hierarchy that is almost inherent in the painting of 16th century Venice. That is a hierarchy from the material to the spiritual. This is almost a game that Tintoretto plays in many of his paintings, giving us, as it were, footholds of substance, footholds of reality, just enough to convince us of the reality itself of the painting, and then he takes us into a flight, and we follow. We follow because we've been given that first foundation that we believe in. Tintoretto's spirituality is a spirituality that is predicated upon realizing, making real, what had been, in effect, symbolic. Painting, in other words, gives substance to the spirit. <laughs>